Hi everyone, uh, Kathy Ryan here in cold Bundaberg today, with a cold, not feeling very good. In front of you, you will see a 12 by 16 or 30 by 40 centimetre canvas. And I've done a few squiggly lines with a pencil for my own uh, good <laughs> to attempt in a follow of that. I have to my right, your left, a uh, whole stack of paints. The recipes for my pouring uh, medium and the paints and the paints names are all down below in the um, comments. So just click on show more and it will scroll down and show you everything that I'm uh, using. And all of these paints have four drops of silicon in in them. What I would like to do is three swipes, one up, one across and one across, and have this look like an Australian billabong. Now a billabong is like a water hole that comes off um, a river or a creek or something and they're really quite pretty and I wanted to do this painting with the sandstone cliffs and some uh, rocks lead, that lead down to the water, the water here, and then perhaps, um, you know, some grass and what have you here. And then once that is dry, I want to come back with a second video and highlight it or um, put in some shading and what have you, especially around the rocks and um, the, the sandstone cliffs, just to make them not look flat. So, first up, uh, I think I'll start with the water first. So, sleeves up and just putting this on and around covering up my well thought out lines not <laughs> um, I really hope this works out it's the first time I've done something um, quite as controlled as this. Usually it's uh, a little bit more free flow, if that's a word. I guess it is. It is now. And I'll bring you into a little point here. That's nice. There won't be any sky on this one, it's um, more of just showing the water's edge and what have you, so when you're actually standing by the water, you don't necessarily always see the sky, especially if you have uh, cliffs and things around, so that's what this is. Although I guess one spill of the paint and Oh, let's do the finger bit. One spill of the paint and we could have sky. <laughs> but I hope not. Oops, come back. Okay. Go away. Bugs. What's the bugs? It's very windy here today and quite cool. So the, I think the bugs are quite happy to try and come inside. Okay. Yeah, 
this, just wiped it there, okay. And a little bit of paler blue. bit of white which with a bit of luck will just reflect the clouds that you can't see that are in my make-believe sky. Perhaps a little oops, mauve in here too because who said we can't? little swipe and just bring you gently across you can see a lot of air bubbles goodness the water nice and I think it might turn it around to do the clips which will come to sort of there and I have uh, some browns go away bug these to look sort of sandstony type of outback kind of colours and some gold and I have some of this red well, it's not really red. I just uh, forget the name of it. Where well, is it? Let me see. It's a uh, burnt sienna. I knew that. And it's uh, quite nice, pretty colour. I like it. It's probably too bad if I don't, since I'm using it. I can because I can that's a nice lead up that's the name of uh, Priscilla Betzel's fantastic book and uh, it would make a great gift of Christmas or, or something to people or birthdays perhaps and you'll find that on her Amazon and the link to her Amazon you will find down the bottom 
and the show more you will see some links and amongst those links will be the link to Priscilla Betzel's really great book. I guess this painting is somewhat inspired as well by well, Priscilla's work. She does some amazing, amazing things. Right, so by all means, uh, please, if you're interested in purchasing Priscilla's book, go along and have a look. It depicts the first 100 of her videos and it shows you how she did it and what she did it with and it's really great information. Okay, swipe number two. I better wipe that off, don't you think? Some of this around the edge. At least not what not. I hate it when I see all the paint just going to waste. I invariably collect it all for usage later because it can come in handy sometimes if you don't want to use up your whites and your blacks and what have you. Especially if the paint's about to be covered as well use your leftovers. By doing these now, these edges and what have you, I don't have to worry later. Nothing worse than thinking your painting's done and then you have a look and you've forgotten to do one edge. <laughs> it's always fun. Especially if you've run out of the paint. Okay, that's that edge done. Pretty good. One to go. Here's a little bit. Okay, he didn't misbehave, he was good. So uh, I might add a bit more white to this fellow. And do a little bit of squiggling maybe. No, I'll just swipe it. love the Australian landscape. We have so many different colours. You really just are not starved for colour when you come through Australia. And clean knife just to move around here a bit. Kind of get those bits. bit, cover up little bits of canvas here that I can see, which is a no-no. Right. right, turn them around so I can see what you're looking at. Yes, I 
like this. It's coming along just about the way I thought I would like it. Maybe some more. Oh, didn't mean to plump it there. Splodge. Okay. Good. Now for the rocks, which what are you? That's the gold. Uh, I'll be stretching this colour out a little bit. of lovely yellow sand we have not many places in Australia have rocks on the beach there are a few of course if you really like rocks but most Australian beaches have beautiful sand especially in Tasmania Tasmania has the most beautiful white sand on here too I think the purple and where's the green there's some nice green So maybe a bit much, not to worry. Swipe it off. Okay. So let's see what our rocks do. deciding what colour to do on the this yes, so we'll just go like this a bit into the water grab a couple of edges I'll turn it around so you can see what I've been looking at and then I'll get the torch oh I'll move that some of that green I'll get the torch and uh, give it a go and see if what else happens here
actually, yes. Yeah. A little bit more white caps, I think. Especially today, it's so windy. In the links down below, you'll find a link to the Australia Art Dreaming um, Facebook group, and you're invited to come and join us. We'd like to have your company. A lot of nice people there. You will also see uh, a link to my Fine Arts America where you can purchase produce and things. Unbelievable amount of things they have over there. I'll just uh, give this a little bit more of a look. Well, let me turn it around so I can see what you're looking at. So far, so good. This is only the first half of this painting. As soon as it dries, I'll be able to put in the shading and what have you. And that's when it'll really come to life, I'm sure. So I'll turn it around for you again. And then I'll go and get the camera and bring you down to let you have a look. You can see here that the cells are beginning to grow. So I'll very quickly have some nice uh, rocks. Need nice rocks to stand on so you can go fishing in the billabong. Catch some yabbies or something. What do you guys call them in America? Crawdads. Yeah. No, these are big. And they're tasty. And the uh, cliffs with some greenery. And so this is part one done. So if you guys would like to give me the thumbs up and I'll have part two up lickety split. Thank you. Bye.